Hey everyone, it's Kim with Doodash Farms. Welcome to What's for Dinner at Doodash Farms. We are here and ready to cook. And I don't know if you saw my um, video from earlier, but we have a special guest with us tonight. We have Mindy French from Shepherd Inn. She is their general manager and um, their head chef. And she is here on location at Dudash Farms, and uh, she's gonna prepare a dish um, that's a specialty of Shepherd Inn, and we are so excited to have her here. So, you guys get ready. I will tell you that she has been doing some pre-work before we went live, and this kitchen smells amazing already, and she really hasn't done much of anything. So, she's just getting started, and it already smells good. So, I can only imagine what it's gonna be when we um, get to the final product. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar with Shepherd Inn, it is a beautiful bed and breakfast located in downtown Dandridge, Tennessee. Um, and what's really interesting about it is that um, it's, it's like truly you hear about places that are a hidden gem. Well, it is literally a hidden gem. I have lived in this area most of my entire life and did not even had never even stepped foot in Shepherd Inn. And um, this last Christmas in December, of course, Christmas is in December, but at Christmas, the uh, Dandridge Farmer's Market vendors, we all got together and had a meal together to celebrate the great year we had last year. And we chose to do it at Shepherd Inn. And y'all, the place is stunning. It was built in 1820. Um, it's stunning. They have just historic uh, decor there. It's, it truly is um, an experience. So, um, fell in love with it. And uh, they do have four rooms. We're going to let Mindy tell us more about the inn um, as we're preparing the meal. But they do um, serve lunch weekly so uh, we're going to tell you about that so that you can get in on all this goodness and go and have lunch there one day and just see how wonderful this place is and how good their meals are their food is delicious so with all of that said i want to introduce you guys to mindy we do have a hey and doodash is watching mama doodash is watching and you all uh, Hi, Mom. We, Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, so that's Brian's mom, and she um, fell on Friday evening, and or actually Friday during the day, and broke her hip. And she had uh, she's in the hospital and had to have surgery Friday evening, and she's doing so well, y'all. Um, so all those prayers, we've had so many people reach out to us and let us know that they're praying for her, and um, we just want to thank you for that. Uh, so let's get started here. So let's say hello to Mindy. Hi, everybody. Hey, Mindy, and of course Brian, come over here. You got Hi. Yeah, he, Brian is going to be the sous chef tonight. <laughs> so, so Mindy, welcome to Thank Doodash you. Farms. Thank you for so I wasn't going to be the spoiler and tell them what you were making. I'm going to let you tell them okay. what you are making this evening. So we are making Shepherd's Inn creamy Italian wedding soup. This is loosely based on a traditional Italian wedding soup, just our version, and maybe kicked up just a little bit. Yeah. So you, you have a really cute story about how it came about. Yes. So tell so us that. This recipe actually started as a dip recipe that Dorothy and Audra, my lovely ladies at the inn, uh, made for their family. And they said, you know, that would be a good soup. So they adapted the recipe, and then I came along and adapted it even a little bit I more. love it. I love and it. And so we've decided that it can be one of our signature dishes. I love that. And, you know, that just goes, Brian and I are always talking about the fact that really just get in the kitchen and take a recipe and make it your own, recipe right? recipe is just a suggestion. That's exactly right. It's, it's sort of like a blueprint. Yes. And then you kind of have, you know, uh, artistic license exactly. from there. Yeah. It's just food. You yeah. can't really mess it up. Yeah. So, okay, so tell us what you're doing. I smell something wonderful so in that pot over there. We started to brown our Dudash Farm sausage. Yes. And as you can see, this is almost completely cooked with absolutely no fat in the bottom of the pot. There's just yes, a little bit of liquid. And actually, I had to add 
uh, some olive oil because it started to stick a little bit because there's so little fat in this wonderful meat. So that's the Italian sausage, right? This is the Italian pork sausage, yes. Okay. And it's, it's the mild, it's not the spicy. You could certainly use the spicy. If I was making this at home, I would totally use the spicy <laughs> because that's my favorite pro product that you all have. Um, so we've uh, sauteed the sausage and we're going to leave it a little bit chunkier and not so fine mm -hmm. because like I said, a tr traditional Italian wedding soup is little meatballs, little pork meatballs. But we're kind of taking a shortcut here, making yep. it a little easier on ourselves. And we're just going to leave the meat chunky and not have to go through all the work of making the meatballs. So now, since this is brown, we're going to add some chopped onion. Okay. My lovely assistant. So how much chopped onion are you this placing in there? This is one medium chopped onion. Okay. And it should be a sweet onion, um, just so that it's not overpowering, because you want to taste that sausage. And then we're going to add one chopped bell pepper. All right. And we're just going to saute that for a little Ooh, while. That looks so pretty. Looks wonderful. I thought that was a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to let that get going a little bit. I'm going to turn our heat up so I can get a good sizzle on there. And um, what we've done to this soup to make it just a little bit heartier is we're going to add some diced potatoes. Oh, yummy. Um, and so we're going to get that yep. going good. Don't let us rush you. You just take, you do it in your own time. Excuse me. We just want to get a little bit of a sear on those vegetables because yeah. we like that little bit of brown in the bottom of our pot. That little bit of brown equals flavor. And we're mm -hmm. going to deglaze this pan with white wine. So we want as much flavor as we can possibly get in there. So I had a comment that says, uh, bring your phone closer to her, to her, please. So let me know if you got, if this is working, if I'm close enough, if you can hear her. Do I need um, to talk louder? I don't know. Y'all give me some feedback. We need to know. And then Angela Madden says, Doodash Farms pork products are the best. Thank you, Angela. Um, well, we're kind of partial to them too, <laughs> aren't we, Brian? <laughs> so, um, so for those of you who may have just started, um, who've just joined us, we have Mindy French from Shepherd Inn, and she is um, preparing um, Shepherd Inn creamy Italian wedding soup. So this is their version, and Elizabeth McCacken, thank you. She says we can hear her great. Okay. Um, so we, um, she's here making her signature soup, and we talked in the beginning about how um, it really, you know, a recipe is just a suggestion, and they've sort of adapted this um, Italian wedding soup uh, to be their very own, and it has evolved over time. But, very important to talk about. Well, what, are you, what are you doing next? I'm going to add some chopped garlic. This Got it. about two cloves um, of minced garlic. It might be a little bit more because I like garlic. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. We do, too. We do, too. I guess that's a prerequisite for cooking at Dudas Farms. You have to like garlic. Well, I'm part Italian, so I have to <laughs> like it. It's in my blood. I'm not, but I fake it. <laughs> <laughs> so she, what she has in there now is some uh, Dudas Farms um, Italian uh, okay. sausage, and she's got uh, a medium-sized um, egg. Onion. Onion, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> medium-sized onion. Y'all have to bear with me. This is not as easy as it looks. Um, and a bell pepper, uh, red bell pepper, uh -huh. and it was absolutely gorgeous. And she has added about two cloves of minced garlic. Wow. And now... Now we're going to deglaze our pan with some white wine, dry white wine. Awesome. I think I've got, it's probably a um, Pinot Grigio, whatever yep. you would drink. That's what you want to use. There you go. And that's about a half a cup? That was a half a cup exactly. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to where we can see it boil. And it's so steamy now, and you probably can't, but it is boiling. And so what that's going to do is take off all of that good flavor on the bottom of that pan. And we're going to cook it down just a little bit to let the alcohol go out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to add our potatoes and we're going to add chicken broth 
just enough to cover. Perfect. And y'all, we have a little um, a secret to share with you guys. So Mindy will tell us more about serving lunch at um, Shepherd Inn weekly on Thursdays, but this is what you're having on Thursday. This is what we're having on mm. Thursday, and we're having it alongside a huge slab of pillowy uh, Parmesan herb focaccia bread, mm. and it's homemade. Yum. And so, Yum. Um, and we're all, we also serve dessert. Yep. So, um, so what are you having for dessert on? We are going to make a monster cookie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh, And probably yummy. some chocolate drizzle on mm, top of that. That so sounds really good. That is about what I got at the store were the little tiny potatoes that you can get, the little tiny new potatoes, and I've quartered them. That was probably just about a dozen okay. of those. Okay. And so now you're add your chicken broth and you're going to cook until those potatoes are nice and tender. Got it. And as you can see, if you can see mm. in the pot now that we've cleared all the steam, that's just about enough to cover. Yeah. Because there's going to be another ingredient that we're going to add to make this nice and creamy. Yeah. Yeah. So now that just has to cook for a little bit. So Linda Morris says, Mindy, you're awesome. <laughs> So just so you know that. I love my Linda Morris. I know. We do too. We Linda love Linda. Morris is my favorite. She is awesome. Um, and Shepherd Inn, thank you guys. They have posted and said we are excited to make and serve this Thursday at Shepherd Inn. Yes. So thank you for reiterating that. So now that we're at a place where we can kind of I can step away from, can the, step pot. Away from the pot a minute. <laughs> tell, us, um, tell us a little bit about Shepherd Inn and about you and what you do there and just anything else you would like for us to know okay. about the ship. Well, Shepherd Inn originally started in 1820 as a one-story log cabin. And through the years, different people have owned it and they have made it into what it is today. Yes. Um, they've made it into this nice big inn and we offer uh, four rooms that uh, can accommodate people, uh, overnight stays, we typically try to do two night stays, but we try to accommodate everyone as sure, well. You can sure. do more than two nights. You can do less than two nights. Um, and and it's a beautifully decorated old inn for the period. Uh, we try to stay as true to period as we can. And when you come there, you're not just coming to visit. You're coming to experience the inn. Um, it's just a beautiful old home that we feel like we have... Um, put our heart and soul into and we want you to come there and feel like family yeah but we also serve lunch on Thursdays and we have three different seatings uh, right now because we are trying to be sensitive to the COVID situation mm -hmm. and social distancing and so we can serve so many people at each seating those seatings are at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock and they are by reservation only. And so if you're on Facebook and you can navigate Facebook well, our phone number is on that Facebook page and you just call for a reservation. Got it. We typically try not to do reservations through the Facebook page just because there's two of us that handle that. And we also administrate other pages as well. Yeah. So uh, typically phone calls are the best way to reach us. Um, but we also do and cater special events. We have bridal showers and weddings at our at our um, facility, um, and we love to customize people's special events. Yeah, we absolutely that's that's what we live for. Yeah, we that's love awesome. the hospitality aspect of it, and we love being able to make your experience personalized so that you feel like you have been taken care of. That's awesome. Angie Vitito says the first time I was in Shepherd's Inn, it was at our farmer's market meal, and it is so beautiful. I can only imagine what it was like back in the day. And yeah. and that's right. And when you walk in, Mindy, I mean, that's exactly how you that's feel. That's the experience we've yeah. had Yeah, you feel like you're walking back into the day, yes. like Angie says. Yes. So tell us a little bit about, you were telling Brian and I earlier about how many people, uh, we, we know of historic figures who have stayed there and why they chose Shepherd Inn. So tell us a little bit about so that. So each, each of our guest rooms is named after uh, someone who has stayed at the inn. We actually have records uh, dating back to um, presidents that have stayed at 
are in. Um, one of our rooms is the Andrew Johnson room. That is actually our king room. Mm -hmm. um, it's a beautiful blue and white room, and, and we have record that, that uh, Andrew Johnson has stayed at that inn, um, or what we would suppose that he would stay at that inn. And, and our location being a central location between Nashville and, and further east, mm -hmm. um, it makes sense that they would stop off sure, there. Sure, sure. Um, one of our rooms is Andrew Jackson as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have the James K. Polk room. Okay. And so it, he, he, was, he has been said to stay there as well. Yeah. And so, um, and then we have a suite. We have a family suite that can be stayed in that has two, two uh, bedrooms in it. Mm -hmm. And each suite, yeah, each room has their own um, private bathroom with either a shower stall or a clawfoot tub, one of the clawfoot tubs being actually original to the oh, house wow. that has been restored. Wow. Yeah. So. Angie says, I wonder if it's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will tell you, I have not experienced any of the said spirits that have been there, but I have been told that there, there might be a couple. Yeah. Oh, wow. But, uh, that is not, not something that I've experienced. <laughs> that's something we don't know for sure, Angie, right. So, but that's a good question. But ask, if you see Audra Watkins out somewhere, ask her about Uncle Carl. Okay, so Angie, <laughs> did you hear that? Ask uh, Audra about Uncle Carl, okay? Um, I hate those notes. I can't remember when I have to be helpful if I... All right, so Mindy is... Um, Letting this cook down, you I can am. see and actually, it looks delicious, smells delicious. Back up just a little bit. Okay, I'm yeah, show them a trick. absolutely. We're gonna actually thicken and make this soup creamy with cream cheese. Oh, wow! But sometimes it's not easy to get cream cheese to melt, even in um, a hot broth like this. So, what I've done here on the stove already is to heat some broth. Okay. Um, the same chicken broth that we have used in the soup, and I've splashed it everywhere. Sorry. That's okay. Hope your camera lens is good. <laughs> um, and what we're going to do is just whisk it into the broth. What this will do is be able to um, incorporate it into our soup much, much easier. Got it. And this That's is a great I mean, little trick. You, yeah, it's a great trick. And you could do. I mean, a basic white sauce to thicken this soup, but this is so much easier um, that I tend to use this trick a lot because, well, and it's cream cheese. Oh, it's yeah. It's tasty, too. Yeah, garlic and cream cheese. Yeah. Got me. So... All right, so while she's doing that, just if you have just started joining us, um, welcome, first things first, right? And Mindy French is here. She is the uh, general manager and head chef at Shepherd Inn in downtown, down, downtown Dandridge. It's a beautiful, historic bed and breakfast, and she is here uh, preparing for us the Shepherd Inn Creamy Italian Wedding Soup that they are going to be serving this Thursday um, you guys can go to their um, Facebook page. First things first, you got to follow them, or you need to. We, we would encourage you to follow them because you're going to love just seeing the, what they um, share with us on social media. But you can get the phone number there, and you can um, call and make a reservation. But let me tell you guys something. Mindy's telling us that their reservations get filled up quickly. So if you're going to call, you better call tomorrow if you're going to go this week. <laughs> Um, let's see, Shane Finley, I hope that I'm saying that right, or Farley, you should get her to sing while she is in the kitchen. Yes. Mindy French is an amazing choir leader. <laughs> Here we go. Thanks, yeah. Shane, <laughs> Shane, she's blushing, he's, I'll just have to tell you. She's drummer at church. <laughs> oh, she's blushing. All right, so that looks like. That looks like we're nice and incorporated. So, I can see that our potatoes have soaked up some of our broth. Yeah. And they're looking good. And we're going to pour this in. And that is going to thicken our soup and make it nice. That's, that's where the creamy comes that's in. That's where the creamy comes in. And if this soup at first didn't have potatoes in it, we added some potatoes just to make it a little hearty. Oh, yeah. Um, just to, you know. Yeah, the traditional one has a bowl. pasta. It does have a pasta. So this is, and so this is pasta. our starch. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so now we are going to add. 
What about you, Lee? And actually, I need to move over here to chop the spinach oh, yeah. a little bit. Gotcha. I like for the spinach to be chopped just a little bit so you're not getting those big stringy pieces. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about this, too, Mindy, um, when you first arrived, that a lot of people don't think about soup being an actual meal. Right. Um, but you guys, I mean... To, to, this is a really this hearty, is a hearty, soup. hearty soup. So I love a good hearty soup. Especially served with a honking piece of bread. Uh, right, right. <laughs> uh, what was it, Parmesan focaccia bread? It's a Parmesan or focaccia bread. Yes. Yeah. And it'll be huge and pillowy and delicious. Yum. So Mindy is chopping up this um, spinach Just here. Just run your knife through it real coarsely. Just makes it a little easier to eat and get on, get on your spoon. Yeah. So now we're going to add that to the pot. And basically all we're doing is wilting this spinach down. That's really all we want. It doesn't need to be mushy. It doesn't need to be cooked through. It just needs to be melted down. Mm -hmm. Now we're also going to add um, some cannellini beans. Some bushes, cannellini Bush beans. Bush cannellini beans. We love bush beans. We That's what we use all the time here. You're just going to give it a good stir to get that spinach down in that hot broth so that it wilts for us. Boy, it smells good. <laughs> it does. Angie said, I was going to say that Brian was being too quiet, and then I heard him. <laughs> so, I know, Angie. He We're makes He makes me do all of this. He won't, he, he won't do it. <laughs> he he says I have the big mouth in the family. So <laughs> Elizabeth McCacken, we have soup meals all the time up here in Boston. This will be added to my recipes. Thank you for the use. Thank you for the use of spinach. Yes, mm -hmm. Elizabeth kale would be delicious. Oh, too. okay, kale. So I'm not much of a kale fan unless it is. I don't like the the texture yeah. of it very much, but Even in this, soup? I think, in, I never really thought about it, but in soup, it would probably be, yeah, I could probably use it there. Um, so, yeah, Elizabeth, I'm sure you do use a lot of soup recipes in Boston, <laughs> but I'm glad that we're giving you some ideas of something you can add to your um, recipe list, repertoire, right? So, this is getting good and wilted. We are going to add some fresh thyme now. Okay. And the recipe calls for it to be chopped. I didn't chop it. I don't mind those cute little leaves in there, mm -hmm. and it just adds a little bit more green. And so really, it's it's probably only about a teaspoon and a half. Time can be a little overpowering, um, but it's going to give the soup really good flavor. Audra Watkins, Mindy is awesome and such a blessing. Yeah, I and mean, we think so too, Audra. You guys are making my head big. <laughs> I know her head's going to get so no, big, I won't be able to put her on the her. on the phone here. <laughs> no. Well, you know what? When people recognize someone that's talented, they should they should say so. And so, look at this, gang. Got some black pepper to add to this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sous chef. That's Mr. Mr. Sous chef. Perfect. Um, and let's see, Angie Vitato. Hey, Audra, I was told to ask you about Uncle Carl. Oh, so, so now they're talking <laughs> to each other. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. Awesome. I'm happy about that. So did you see, did you hear that, Audra? So um, I don't know if you were watching earlier. I'm sure you were. Um, but um, Mindy mentioned that you might could give us some insight into Uncle Carl at Shepherd Inn. So. Lisa Bauer is watching. Hey, Lisa. Ba Lisa Bauer Warren. I didn't read far enough, but hey, Lisa Warren. It's been a while since I've seen you. I hope you're doing well. We've got lots of people who are watching, Mindy, which that, that may make you a nervous wreck, but you have lots of people watching, <laughs> which is a great thing. Yeah, well, good. Um, so, yes, this is smelling delicious, and I believe, um, yeah, Brian's getting the ladle out, so I think he... I think he's ready. He's ready for a yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else, Mindy, that you want to share with us about um, Thursdays or? I mean, just come join us for lunch. You won't be sorry once you walk in. Uh, we have de several different seating areas. 
Just because you make a reservation doesn't guarantee that you'll be seated in our main dining room. We also have a smaller dining room and a sunroom um, and it's that we wonderful. seat people in. And it's beautiful this time of year, especially when the sun is out. Yes. Um, like I said, we are filling up kind of quickly, so make sure to get your reservation in. Um, our April menu will probably be posted next week. The March menu is up on our Facebook page and on our mm -hmm. website. You can also follow us on Instagram. Gotcha. Um, because we do have an Instagram page. Um, and so, you know, we want you to come in. We want you to experience the beautiful house. We want you to experience the good food that we're making and that we're serving and the personalized experience that you'll get there. Um, but we want you to leave feeling like family. Yeah. And so that you'll come back and see us. Again. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. So this is looking great. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Um, uh, that was homemade chicken broth, so I'm not worried that this needs to simmer very long mm -hmm. at all. If you use the store-bought chicken broth, which is totally acceptable, I use it too. Um, just make sure to get the low-sodium kind mm -hmm. and just simmer it a little bit longer so that you get more of the flavor of that yeah. sausage coming out into that broth. And basically what we're going to do is add about uh, three quarters of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Shaved Parmesan cheese would be beautiful on top of this. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's probably what we're going to serve on top of it on, um, on Thursday. Thursday of this week. And that'll also help thicken it up a little bit too. And then just let it sit on the stove for a little bit before you serve it. But I think we're going to serve it up for you guys so that you can kind of feel kind of what it looks like in the bowl. Doesn't that look great, gang? Um, Edna Costner, she says, ate lunch there last month and it was so good. So yeah, um, thanks for letting us know that, Edna. Brian and I have been there and we absolutely love it. And um, they they do use um, Dudash Farms product from time to time, so we appreciate you guys and, and we'll your business. And we'll be using Dudash Farm uh, mild Italian sausage this Thursday too. Yeah, Brian's already delivered it to so us. So there we go. So um, and just in case you didn't hear Mindy or uh, didn't catch it, um, you can follow them on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, they post their monthly uh, menus ahead of time so be on the lookout for their menu for April um, she said it will be coming up pretty soon uh, so and you can go on there now and see what they're gonna have this week and the remaining weeks of March so make sure you get on there and check that out and call them quickly if you want to schedule lunch because um, they're filling up really fast that's how good it is Angie Vitito says I bet that would be good with chunks of chicken hmm. sure yeah it would be, you know, all soups are adaptable. That's exactly right. Uh, you can make it whatever you want to make it. Um, like we were saying earlier, our recipe is really just sort of a, a, a yeah, it's just a suggestion. <laughs> um, oh, and Angie says they also use corn from Martin Farm when it's in season. We still have some in the freezer. There you go, Angie. Using up. Yes. Okay. So there we go. Um, so, yeah, so the Shepherd Inn does come through the Danger Farmers Market. Every Saturday. That's, Every time we can. that's yes. right. So yes. that's. We see Jim there quite often. Yeah. Well, and that's important to us and Jim as well. It's very important to us that we use as close to local a product it, as we can. Yeah. Uh, because it's small business supporting small business. Yeah. And that's always important. It is. It really is. And we appreciate that very much. Um, do you know what's on the menu for next week? I do know what's on the menu for next do, week. Do you want to share or do you want to leave them in suspense? Um. I'm not remembering what the dessert <laughs> is, but I know the main course is a bacon wrapped chicken uh, with Italian style macaroni mm. and cheese. And I don't remember what else. So, did you hear I that, gang? For the next seven months, and they're all, <laughs> all in your head, too. And it's probably <laughs> all of that's in your down. head. That's why yeah, I the paper exactly. But so, that's the main gotcha. thing. Gotcha. So, bacon wrapped chicken with. What was the type of Italian macaroni uh, with Italian cheese. macaroni and cheese? So that's on the tap for that would be what the twenty fifth. Yep. Okay, so if you can't get in there this week, 
You can get in there next week if you call and make a reservation. Um, Angie Vitito says, I had to get an advertisement in on the Doodash video. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, we will advertise for you. Um, and with that said, y'all, the Dandridge Farmer's Market is coming up uh, right around the corner. So we will start. It's actually the first Saturday in May, which will be May the 2nd, I believe. So... Um, starting May the 2nd, every Saturday until mid-October. So be on the lookout for that. And if you don't follow the Dandridge Farmer's Market page, you should, because we're going to start doing some um, posts and hopefully, if everyone will agree with me, do some live video of what they are going to be um, sharing at the market this year, no. selling at the market. I know. So we're looking forward to that. Um, all right. So Mindy, I believe, is going to serve us up some soup. smell a vision. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Can you all smell that? I'm not sure why <laughs> anybody would say this isn't a meal. But oh, I know. That, well, I mean, it's just what you're, but yeah. It's a gorgeous bowl of soup. Check that out, y'all. That is just steamy and beautiful. And then we'll just top it with a little bit of extra cheese because it's cheese. That's right. Yep. <laughs> there we go. You never have too much cheese or garlic. That's exactly right. Mindy, that looks fabulous. Fabulous. You guys, um, you know, give give uh, Mindy some love. Give us a thumbs up if you uh, like what you see. And better than that, make sure you go uh, find their page on Facebook. Uh, I tried to tag it in our intro, so just click on it, follow it, and uh, look for her um menus all right and you know what if you are if you are not in this area and you want to come and visit us in this area sometime you need to stay at shepherd inn give them a try um so reach out to them and make a reservation stay overnight um so i, I cook you breakfast in the morning they, there you go <laughs> so that's something that we need to to know yes, yeah you actually uh get breakfast uh we offer a breakfast that's cooked in-house um, but we're also starting to offer meals. So if you're staying more than one night and you don't want to leave the inn, but you want a nice meal, um, we can accommodate you for that. There yeah. you go. That's so, awesome. It's a one-stop shop, y'all. So if you've got an anniversary, to, if you are celebrating your anniversary and you want to go somewhere that is just just quaint and beautiful and a place where you can make some memories, contact Shepherd Inn. Make that your place. Um, and it's, I mean, this time of the year with all the trees blooming, the flowers Beautiful blooming. And yeah. And if you have not been to downtown Dandridge, you just need to go. It's one of the, what was, is it the, second it's the second oldest uh, city in the state of Tennessee. Um, and, and it is an operating and uh, functional uh, downtown. So, you know, a lot of these old cities, they, they're not functional any longer. But Dandridge is, and it's absolutely beautiful. So, um, yes, and Carolyn Clark says, yes, want to stay there. Carolyn, I, I know you, and this is a place you want to stay overnight. This is, this is the place. So, you definitely need to check them out. Um, she loves that kind of thing. So, Mindy, anything else you want to say before we go? Yeah, we've covered all covered of everything. <laughs> I know I, Brian's over here salivating. I think I need to let him eat his soup before <laughs> before it gets let's cold. Eat. So let's eat. The, let's eat. So there we go, gang. Y'all, thanks again for watching uh, us and hanging out with us for dinner. Uh, Mindy did a great job. Y'all, give her some love, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.